Why do I even do this? Why don't you show just a little bit more contempt for your audience? Asshole. No, it's it's not them. It's me. It's past Johnny. The guy who decided to make this a weekly thing. What to talk about? I don't know what to even do. Right. And that's why now, more than ever, fuck it, let's do it. I'm Johnny, and it's time for fuck it, let's do it. Everybody's dealt with this. Writer's block, artist's block, blogger's block, musician's block, macrameer's block. We all know what it is, and a lot of us get trapped in thinking that it's just something that happens to us. On the whims of the muses, it's your time for writer's block. Knowing how writer's block happens can give you the tools to get yourself out of it in the first place. Knowing how it works, well, we have to talk about brains. The brain is structured into three major systems. The lizard brain, the leopard brain, and the monkey brain. Now bear in mind, the map here is not the territory. It's a lot more complicated than that. The lizard brain is all about your automatic nervous processes, your bodily functions. Boop. <laughs> the leopard brain is all about emotions your fight or flight reflex, and to some extent, decision-making. The monkey brain is all about creativity, logic, planning, strategizing. Note that decision-making happens at a lower level in the leopard brain and not in the monkey brain as you might expect. That's important. In fact, this is even shown in scientific studies where in a lot of cases, we make decisions and then our monkey brains justify those decisions to us later. So how does this relate to the writer's block? Studies suggest that your brain goes through this shift from this command and control thinking that happens in your monkey brain that's associated with creativity. Initiate primary command sequence to the lower leopard brain, which all of a sudden gets all stressed out and fight or flight and all emotional. When this switch happens in our brains, we're actually not all that aware of it. So we look at our sketchbooks and we say to ourselves, I really want to draw something, but nothing comes out. And the reason why nothing comes out is because the creative sides of our brain are not properly engaged and turned on. We don't see it. We don't recognize it. We don't understand it. At least not at first. The shift is subtle in these two modes. Recognizing it is the key to hacking your brain. These emotions cause writer's block, which then gives you the impression that you have a lack of motivation or feeling like it's not gonna be good enough, feeling stymied, which as you might've noticed is generating more feelings, which only blocks you further. Round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, ah, fuck. The key is that your leopard brain is being a big jerk. It's not your lack of motivation. It's not that you're burnt out. It's that the emotional you is getting all caught up. How do you fix it? Fuck it. Let's do it. That's another Zay Frankism. Links down in the doobly-doo. The key to F-I-L-D-I, -I, closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. It calms down that emotional leopard that we've all got. Next up, you got to use your self-discipline. Fuck it. Let's do it. Sit down and write. Don't work on that big project. You're probably already brain cracking. Just write something. Write a letter to a friend. Write a letter to your government representative. Write a haiku. Write an epic poem. Write a recipe. Tori had a great idea of brainstorming a bunch of words and using that as the constraints of a story. And in fact, constraints as a way to shape creativity and give you a boost is a whole other topic which I will do soon. Explore the other forms of your form and exercise your writing muscles or your music muscles or your macrame muscles. Who knows? You might actually get inspired for that magnum opus that you're writing. The moment you've all been waiting for. Tips for single guys from Justine. My advice is to learn to fucking spell. 
set aside the time and write and just do it. Believe me, you can use the practice. And remember kids, F-I-L-D-I is fun.